This is part three of the Florence Ballard series. You know, they can fool everybody else, but you just can't fool me one bit. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I think in 1961, I think that was the beginning of the end for her as far as the Supremes go. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And Mr. Barry Gordy, I hope you're listening because I know this is how it played out. You knew this was her group. You knew this was her group. So when it was time for her to go and break up with the group and split and go over to ABC, those names that you picked out of a hat or had them pick out of a hat, those were your names anyway. So when she signed the ABC, you telling her she can't use the names. But it was her group. But the Supremes were your name. So that made it easier for you in a lawsuit, bruh. She couldn't use the Supreme Marquee because it was your name. But it was her group. You had this planned all along, sir. And if you didn't like her so much, if you didn't like her this much, not even that, you also, I don't think, I wouldn't put it past you to put this chauffeur on her to watch her. This Chapman cat, because every time she came into some money from a lawsuit from you, he'd be there. And then when the money ran out, he disappears. But sometimes you're playing backfire, sir. Because some of the fans that you went and booked these people to wasn't filling them without this queen. And they wouldn't allow you to play in their damn arenas because she wasn't there. How are you going to kick me out of a group that I built? How are you going to kick me out of a group that I built, sir? Because the only reason she got kicked out of the group this is because your name, her group. You also knew she wasn't a high school graduate like the other two. So you took advantage of that. And caused her to sign one of the top three worst contracts in music history. We have to do a part four. And I'm about to go deeper. And again, I'm firing shots. Let me know if you want me to do a part four. Please share, like, duet.